Because uh, I think ROH should definitely give him a shot because I thought he was so impressive this weekend. But yeah, Michinoko Pro, I mean, they're they're older guys, but you know, they they really, you know, every single match, they really stepped up and I would say all the matches delivered. Uh, definitely. All right, so let's move on to King of Trios Night 2. Um, night 2, well, it was a lot better, I would say. You know, you definitely had, you know, some of those, you know, potential match of the year candidates on this show. Uh, let me say this. Fist versus Soccer Pro, these two guys, they, they met in the uh, quarterfinals last year. And um, they met once again in the quarterfinals. And I, I would say from a wrestling standpoint, that match might have, you know, stole the show from King of Trios 2010. Uh, this year, you know, they delivered once again. Probably not as stiff as last year's showing, but uh, as far as, you know, some of the high flying goes, this is probably better, I would say. You know, just good stuff. The guy from Osaka Pro, I forget his name, but he's very, very fast. I think that's a dream match right there. The fastest dude from Osaka Pro and Masato Yoshino. That would be a, a dream match in mine. But I, I like I like Fist a lot better with Gargano. I thought, I, like I said, I, th I thought this was the match of the night. Probably, arguably one of the best matches from, arguably the best match of the weekend. I think you can make an argument for that. So, really good stuff there. Then we have El Generico, Zack Sabre Jr., Pinky Sanchez, and um, Marche Rocket. This was um, the Rey de Valadores, the tournament within a tournament. You know, some of the high flyers that lost on night one, they get booked into like a, uh, you know, a four-way tournament. And uh, the winner of each match moves on to the finals. Um, this, this was good, I, I would say, you know, I, you know, putting Generico in this match, a smart move, you know, considering, you know, the 2009 match ended up being the match of the year for Chikara. So, I mean, you know, th this, this was, um, it didn't really capture, you know, didn't really have the same kind of a holy shit type of spots that that match had, but this, this was very, very dramatic though. You know, um, Z Zabato as a referee definitely added a lot to this match, I would say. Uh, it, definitely a very, very dramatic match. Zack Sabre Jr. looked good. You know, Pinky Sanchez stole the show here. I really thought he performed beautifully here. He, he, he's underutilized. I saw him at Evolve 7, and he was kind of like, uh, they weren't using him. Yeah, they didn't use him on the show. They had him put up the ring, and they had him as part of the ring crew. I just, I don't know. I, I, I think Pinky Sanchez is good enough to, you know, at least have a match on an Evolve show. Uh, Generico looked great here. Generico, you could argue Generico really was the MVP from this weekend. Really thought he brought in every single match. Uh, you know, and like I said, this is a very, very good stuff. I would say this is a four-star match. This is the one match that I think people are kind of underrating, in my opinion. Next would be the Assyrian Portal taking on Team Dragon Gate with the Kira Tozawa. You know, good stuff here. I think people are a little bit overrating this a little bit. I didn't quite see the four stars, which a lot of people are giving it, but you know, you got Tozawa out there, and, and you know, Assyrian Portal is right hitting their stride right now. I'd say this is a solid three and a half star match, without a doubt. Uh, Eddie Kingston versus Eric Cannon. Great combination there. You know, Eric Cannon is very, very, you know, well known actually. I mean, uh, I mean, if you've been following the Indies a long time, he definitely has a great resume. I think he actually won the Ted Petty Invitational in 2005. So, I mean, you got to give him credit. You know, him and Kingston, they didn't get a lot of time, but, you know, a, a lot of fun here. They paid a nice tribute to Larry Sweeney after the match. That was good. Uh, the Colony versus the BDK. Um, you know, last year the Colony and the BDK met in the finals, but this is a totally different team. This, diff this was. Um, I don't remember much about this, to tell you the truth. Uh, you know, the highlight of this match was Green Ant. I remember Green Ant suplexed, uh, he did the, uh, you know, the Hogan-Andre thing on uh, Tursus, which came off amazing. It, th that really brought the crowd to life. Tursus wasn't actually part of the match. He just, he was kind of playing the Big Daddy Cool Diesel thing. Interfered, you know, excellent spot there. Uh, yeah, th this is fun to watch. Uh, next, we had the one, two, three kid, Amazing Red, Abarian, and Frightmare, Ray Dave Valdoris once again. Uh, you know, one, two, three kid, like, like always, he looked great here. Amazing Red looked good. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Why would you put a bar I mean, a barrier's in this match because of process of elimination. I thought he uh, obviously, you know what? Let me take that back. I forgot. Frightmare and O'Barian, they've kind of been feuding together. So Frightmare got his revenge on O'Barian. One, two, three, kid got a, a great win over Frightmare. The, the 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 ending sequence between Frightmare and one, two, three, very very good stuff. You know, pretty much nothing to complain about. Next up, we have Michinoko Pro taking on Quack Jigsaw Minami Toyota. This match has got time. I mean, it was great to see Toyota mix up with the Michinoko Pro guys. I really enjoyed it. You know, uh, you know, Jigsaw did some awesome spots out there. A lot of fun in this match. I thought this. I think this match was really good. It was a strong main event. You know, a lot of people were kind of deducting points because it got too much time, but um, I, I really liked it. I could probably give it about three and three quarter stars. All right, so let's move on to uh, night three. A lot of people were saying amazing, nine point five, nine point two five, nine point zero. I'm not going to quite go that far, I, I would say. I, I mean, I, I, I just don't 
really know if it's that good. Um, I would say this. This is definitely, you know, the, the best out of all three nights without a doubt. Um, is it the best Shikara show of the year? Probably. You know, uh, it's, it's a toss-up. This or Creatures of the Tar Swamp. It's very, very debatable. But um, let's go through it. We have the Colony and the Osirian Portal. I mean, these two teams, I would agree, one of the best openers of the year without a doubt. I mean, uh, definitely check it out. Just good stuff there. I, I, I loved it, actually. This is how you open up a show right there. Next up, we have Fist versus Michinoko Pro. Uh, you know, I, kind of a, a screwy finish. I mean, you would have liked to see a more honorable finish within the Michinoko Pro guys. But, you know, Fist, you know, they were they, they were the top heels in this tournament. So, yeah, I mean, you had the finish was definitely justified there. You know, Grand Akuma actually did a small package after, uh, you know, they threw powder on one of the guy, one of the Michinoko Pro guys' uh, faces. I can't remember who it was. Uh, next up, we had Ultimate Spider Jr. from Osaka Pro taking on Jigsaw. I mean, th this is pretty good. I would have liked to see the faster dude from uh, Osaka Pro have the match with Jigsaw. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Th this was kind of rushed. This was definitely, you know, didn't get a lot of time. Th this kind of reminded me of uh, Shingo and Equinox from Chikarasaurus Rex. Just kind of like a little uh, teaser of what they could actually do. Because I think this could have been a lot better. The Ultimate Spider Jr. Uh, had a pretty impressive show this whole weekend. Uh, next up, we had the Tag Team Gauntlet match featuring a lot of the tag teams. You know, usually this drags. This was definitely one of the better ones. However, I'm not going to say this was an amazing four-star match like some people are saying. It really, To me, it didn't really start to pick up until Osaka Pro came out there. I think the stuff that, that Sarah and Daisy did was kind of fun. Uh, the Roughnecks did some fun stuff out there. Don't get me wrong. But I think the match really dragged when the... Uh, when the Bateri was in there, but uh, it came down to Dragon Gate, the two guys from Dragon Gate and Osaka Pro, you know, good stuff between them. I really liked it, uh, but, you know, I, I, you know, this match, I mean, it's very, very tough to have this match not drag every single year, and I thought this dragged just a little bit. I still say it was good, though. I still give it a solid three and a quarter starts. Next up, we have Minami Toyota taking out Madison Eagles. I couldn't get into this. I don't know. I thought the crowd was dead by this point. Um, you know, I, you know, I liked it. I liked some of the stuff that Toyota did. Eagles didn't really impress me that much in this match, though. Uh, I think I think they could have got a little bit more time. But uh, next we had Eddie Kingston versus Akira Tozawa. I was a little bit disappointed with this. I read some of the comments. Some people were saying that this was the match of the night. This, you know, blew everyone away. And I was thinking, maybe we could be hitting, you know, Chris Hero versus Akira Tozawa territory here. But nah, they, we really, you know, didn't hit that level. I was disappointed with the... Uh, the way they set this match up, I think Kingston. I mean, I mean, everyone knows a Tozawa and Hero had that great match. Why not just bring it up? Why not just have you know, you know? Obviously, everyone knows Kingston and Hero have a tremendous rivalry. How they really hate each other. K Kingston should have brought up in the uh, promo. You know, I know you had that match with Chris Hero uh, at Battle of Los Angeles. You know, and I, I can see that. You know, you know, Hero really brought the best out of you. But if you think you 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 know, Hero took you to the limit. Imagine how how far I'm going to take you to the limit. I think they could have done something like that. And said Kingston kind of gave the the same old Claudio promo before the match. So I'm I'm kind of getting sick of uh you know Kingston talking about Claudio time and time again. It's definitely hurt his promos in my opinion because it's pretty much that's all he's like allowed to talk about. Um, so next up we had the one, I mean, it was still a good match. I still say three and a half stars, you know, Vince's action from Tozawa. I love Tozawa. I mean, it was still a good match. It just, it just wasn't the match of the night. Like some, like I thought, you know, I was anticipating, uh, next up we had the one, two, three K versus El Generico. It, it was good and everything, but it didn't really pick up until, um, Generico hit the razor's edge. Once he hit the razor's edge, I would agree. This got amazing. This got, this was um, awesome. Everyone should check it out. It's a four star match without a doubt. Like I said, one, two, three kid, you know, kind of resurrected his career to a degree. And Generico came across, you know, he really, like, Generico kind of came across like he was, like, the Brian Danielson of this weekend. Like, you, I mean, you, really, you really felt like he was, uh, you know, the reliable veteran that could get a great match out of anybody. And uh, that's what he did with one, two, three kid. Like, the stuff between Generico and, and, and one, two, three, like, kind of reminded me of the stuff Danielson did with Johnny Saint from King of Trios 2009 a little bit. I don't know if that's an accurate comparison, but that's just kind of what I got from it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you know, X Pac got a tremendous standing ovation after the match. You know, just great stuff. Uh, next up, we have Fist versus the Colony, the uh, final of the uh, King of Trios. Uh, this was great. You know, my, my only problem with this is we've seen the Colony and Fist so many times, and you know, they had the hair versus hair match. And I believe they've, uh, you know, they, they just wrestled so many times. You know, it just didn't feel to me like it was a fresh, you know, matchup for King of Trios in, in the finals. But uh, now that they got Johnny Gargano, it's a different team. 
I mean, th this was, you know, a tremendous drama, tremendous near falls. I, I really, really loved it, the finishing sequence here. Uh, you know, uh, Granicuma, not Granicuma, I'm sorry, Icarus. Icarus kicking out of the Ant Hill, awesome spot. Um, you know, the, 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 the powder spot when, uh, you know, Gargano fucked up and, and super kicked uh, Chuck Taylor right in the face. Great drama there. A great double kick out there. I mean, I can't tell you how, how fun this match was. It was a lot of fun, but don't get me wrong. I just... I was just expecting, you know, just a little bit more actually from like the. I was just expecting the finals of King of Trio just to, just to be a fresher matchup. I just feel like we've seen these two teams wrestle so many times, but uh, they didn't disappoint. This was this was great actually. I mean, this you could argue that this is better than the hair versus hair match, which is saying a lot. So, um, so King of Trio's night three, uh, definitely uh, definitely the best show, definitely the one to check out if you're going to pick up one show. But you know, to me. You got to pick up all of these shows. I mean, you, you can't just pick up one. You need to, to really appreciate this tournament in its in its essence. You have to pick up all three shows. So, uh, sorry if the review went a little bit long. This will probably be a two parter. I hope you guys enjoy the video and the review. Uh, SmartMarkVideo.com. Uh, the shipping is great. Everyone's uh, going crazy over the shipping service, but um, yeah, you know. It, it, let, let me just say this for a future video. I want to talk about ROH and the uh, criticism that you know. I, I just think. Not criticism. Let me say negativity. I think there's way too much negativity on Ring of Honor right now, and um, I think if we really want to see this promotion succeed, I really think that needs to change. Um, so I'll talk about that as well. But yeah, but yeah, don't sleep on Chikara though. Chikara, you know, they did a phenomenal job with this weekend. I can't, I can't say enough about it. So uh, there we go.